born in here. We're on the state line right here of Nevada. This is a skate trip across California. Our goal is to skate the whole 200 plus miles across California, and I hope we can pull it off. We'll yep. pull it. We'll pull it off. We yeah, go. we're good to go. The trip had just begun, and we were already struck with a big issue. Up until this point, we had never ridden with a fully loaded backpack, and it created That's some nasty sketchy. stability issues. Not to mention, we were riding over dirt and ice during this break-in period. These roads offered barely any shoulder, so we had to hike a good amount. Hands are nice and dirty for these sandals. <laughs> we took an early lunch on the side of the road and questioned ourselves about what we had gotten ourselves into. Soon, our luck started to get better. Micah found some gloves on the side of the road, and then we finally started getting some downhill. We decided the mountain roads along the 50 were too dangerous, so we did what was necessary. You guys, uh, you have any boxes? That's beautiful. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> The wait turned out much longer than we had thought, so we got a little desperate. Dude, what? Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, shit, yeah, man. Well, we didn't get a ride, we got some beer. <laughs> we managed to snag some brews, and about an hour later, we scored a ride. Give us the horn, bro. Yeah! <laughs> You're awesome. We're currently getting all the food and everything here from Doris. <laughs> Michael's living big in the back. <laughs> we got incredibly lucky because just a couple hours later, a boulder fell and completely closed the freeway. We thanked our lovely friends and then we're on our way. We had achieved our goal, which was hitchhiking to get below the freezing elevation so as to not perish during the night. To add on to the stoke, we found some amazing bike paths, which soon became our best friends due to not having to worry about the danger of cars. Oh my God. Oh. Uh-oh. But soon, those ended, and we had to face the sketchiest road on the trip. Our goal for the night was to make it to a campground. And after a failed shortcuts and gas station hangout session, we finally made it. We stumbled upon a KOA, which we snuck into. Sorry, KOA. We appreciate you. Fingers crossed that we don't get kicked out. Wish us luck. Bye, KOA. This is how we are staying protected. <laughs> right. Day two started off a little rough, immediately facing rain. We took refuge at a local breakfast spot until a storm mellowed. And even after the rain had stopped, we struggled with rough conditions on the roads until the storm had passed. Oh, uh, a lot of stopping power here. Uh, changed up. Luckily out here in sunny California, we got blue skies already, so we're in the other uh, sun hat and all. Mike's over there. Stoke. We were in the foothills during this day, meaning that the hills, both uphill and downhill, were plentiful. It was at this point we finally began to get confident with all the weight on our back. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, he's got about 60 pounds of backpacking gear on his back, but he's still throwing down. Yeah. <laughs> We averaged 25 to 30 miles per day, so the scenery changed quick as the days went on, and we quickly learned how to be a proper bum. <laughs> Every night, we skated until sundown. Today, we were fortunate enough to end up near the river. <laughs> we found a nice, quiet spot next to a dam. Not sketchy in the slightest. Oh hey, welcome to day two of the trip, everyone. I say day two, signifying how exhausted and delusional I am. This here's where we slept, right over by this dam that did not end up giving out last night. Get out of the road, man. We made use of all public restrooms and benches. They were our greatest friends along the road. It's 12, 16, we're almost at our spot already. Bam! <laughs> we are fast traveling today. These bike paths are actually freaking sweet. So nice. But the issue is they've been really boring. Less work, but very boring. We just go like two miles per hour the whole time. Super slow. Definitely the most tired that we've been all trip. Shoes are getting a little bit ripped right now. This was a time of low morale for me. The day had just seemed to drag on and on with no end. 
Not As we approached Sacramento, we lost our bike path and the urban miles seemed to inch along ever so slowly. Finally, we made it to Michael's sister's apartment. What's up? Michael, do a flip. Do you want to? <laughs> Too easy. We got to relax, take a break for a bit, enjoy some fine dining. <laughs> Day four was arguably one of the toughest days, but the morning was pleasant. Some might say it was this calm before the storm. Yeah! Give it! Woo! I just realized, Mike, I don't know, this is kind of a moment. Like, we're just leaving the city. We got some long straightaways ahead of us, so. I know, kind of on our own a little bit, but we're going to Dixon. We had moments to enjoy, such as this fruit stand and saying hello to a friend, Davis. But then the straights began. Eventually, we found ourselves in a ditch, which led us to a Walmart. We made use of the free seats and cheap food. Feeding ourselves right now, huh? We found a spot, everyone, that ended up not working. So we're gonna try to find another spot. It's gonna be a spot. <laughs> no, are you good? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, we found our spot. Wrap it up for the night. We gotta go, so we don't wanna get caught, but I'll catch you tomorrow. Morning bit of stoke right now. We are so fired we got the craziest spot last night. Like here with like little mustard flower and oh, sunrise. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, I love this spot. It's one of those spots that you almost don't want to leave. But we got a ton of pushing to do today. So we're on our way out, I guess. We left our lovely spot and hit the road in which we were pleasantly surprised to have a tailwind. Woo! Terrorizing another shop. Just had two people offer to buy us stuff. We haven't had this much speed in forever. Thank you to the gods of speed. Today, we decided what would be our longest day, walking over 30 miles. We decided that we go here. We're hiding our stuff. We're gonna go hang out on the campus right now. But this is where we'll be dropping our stuff for the night. We didn't have anything better to do, so we just hung out around the campus until dark when we could pitch our tent. I something out the entrance. That means food. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching today. Love you. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Today is a very special day. This is the sixth day of our trip. And today, we plan on making our way into lovely San Francisco. In order to impress that beautiful lady, I am wearing my clean and classic beige colored shirt. Our sixth and final day started out strong. Our only thing on the agenda for the day was to make it to the ferry before it closed, which was only a 15 mile skate. The issue was that we hit tons of hills. The earlier part of the day was tough, but we eventually made it down into the valley. It's pretty cool being here. I feel like the first part of the day definitely dragged on a little bit, but like just finally making it to this iconic spot. We have six flags in the background. <laughs> Got 80 right here. There's not much to complain about right now. Shoe took a little beat in there. We then skated to a McDonald's where Michael gave a shirt for some dude who asked us a very important question. Can you guys do muscle ups with those backpacks? No, no chance. We're going quick. We have to make it to the ferry right now. Really the next 45 minutes consisted of the fastest and most reckless skating of the trip because we had to cover five miles in 45 minutes before the next ferry left. Oh. No worries, man. you good, you good. You good? Phone's good, arm's good, everything's good? I think we're good. I literally got oh, on shit. film. Oh, oh no. I mean, anything else is good? Whatever, we did it. Michael made it the whole way until now. He fell in the last mile. <laughs> Terminal right there. 
freaking made it. At last, we arrived at the station. Celebration was necessary, but we were just too tired to do so. Just got kicked out. Again. We then boarded the ferry and made our way to the city where we gave our final push to the beach. Looking back on the trip, I am still in disbelief that we did it. Skating from sun up to sun down, covering some insane distances on a skateboard. My feet still hurt, and I'm sure Michael's do as well, but I can confidently say that this trip will always hold a special place in my heart. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you.